President Muhammad Buhari has vowed that the distortions that happened to budget 2016 in which series of projects and figures were injected into the financial document will not happen to budget 2017, saying that he will remove any such alterations. Moments ago, allegations brought against the National Assembly by the former president, Chief Olusha Basanjo, uh, brings us back to the contentious budget padding issue raised by Honorable Mumine Jibrin, currently on a 180-day suspension. Chief Basanjo has called the National Assembly a cabal of corrupt legislators and is calling for the two chambers to be investigated. Take a listen. Jerry is being cleaned. What of the National Assembly, which stands much worse than the judiciary? Project pardon must not go unpunished. It is a reality, which is a regular and systemic practice. Nobody should pull wool over the eyes of Nigerians. The National Assembly cabal of today is worse than any cabal that anybody may find anywhere in our national governance system. The former president, Chief Olusha Gunobasanjo, and his comments, of course. Garba Ibrahim joins me from our Abuja studios as well to look at this very contentious issue. Many thanks indeed for joining me on State of the Nation at this time. You have been watching very closely indeed the discussion on this budget pattern saga ever since it started. Are you in agreement with what the president's comments calling the legislators a corrupt cabal. Are you in agreement with this? Yeah, thank you, uh, Gimba. Uh, good evening, Nigerians. Well, to agree with him, of course, he is uh, a former president of Nigeria who interacted so much with uh, the National Assembly from the members and the senators. He's in a better position to say it as it is. Uh, I'm so glad that he's talking about that because uh, when ordinary citizens like us were talking, raising alarm with regards to the situation in National Assembly, people felt we were sponsored to do that. But I want somebody to come out and tell us that uh, President uh, Oba Sanjo has been sponsored to also say that. But that is the reality on ground. Uh, I might disagree with him on a moral ground because he also has his own case to answer. But talking about the issue on ground, since, uh, sincerely speaking, the National Assembly, we need to check what is going on there. The budget padding was real, but you can hear, you can see what happened. Nigerians were made to keep quiet. We were suppressed. We made agitations. We wanted authorities to listen to us. But we were seen as if we don't know what we're doing. It was so sad. But I'm so glad that somebody like uh, the former president is even laying emphasis to tell Nigerians that this set of National Assembly, uh, the senators and the reps, are the worst in terms of uh, connecting their jobs, their feelings, with this common man. You know why it is, I agree with him? It's because the recession is hitting so hard on common citizens on the streets. But guess what? How much is senators getting per annum? How much is member of National Assembly reps is getting per annum? Can't they slash this into two and say, let me take 50% and the 50% should be put, I mean, put back into how the economy can improve in the lives of the common citizens? They, do they care? But you can see them recently acquiring expensive vehicles, 10 million naira and above. Timber. It is the truth that, yes, these senators and the reps are the worst because if it were bad, this time around, it's worst. Now, now the bone of contention... That. Sincerely speaking, I agree with him 100%. The, the bone of contention, which Honorable Mumin Jibrin has said repeatedly, is the constituency projects. Apparently, you can't wish that away. What, in your view, must be done to actualize full delivery on constituency projects? Thank you very much. The issue of constituency project, was supposed to be the intervention programs where the common man would see for himself in reality what these people are saying it is meant for the common man. Um, 
of recent, we were investigating agencies that most of these constituency projects were inserted in their budgets are crying, but nobody is listening to them. They are crying, raising alarm that members of the National Assembly and the senators are on their neck sending contractors to them, meaning they are demanding for most of the insertions they made once they heard that a particular agency has, been, I mean, has gotten their own, uh, uh, let's say, a little allocation of the funds. These people run to those agencies sending contractors that, look, give, them, give the contractor X, Y, Z, my project that I inserted. What's the meaning of that? Meaning the budget was padded. In reality, these people are now coming back to get what is meant for, I mean, what is meant for themselves. So we're saying, the, the, to correct that, like you asked, there has to be some kind of uh, attention given to agencies and ministries. Those budgets should not be allowed. There are procedures, which is the tender board is there, qualifying companies that should be given to the job. Nobody should influence any contractor's interest. This is what should be done, Gimba. Uh, I also want to believe that uh, the governors are also in the know of the constituency projects. I stand to be corrected, though. But are the governors supporting the successes of the projects in their respective states? You see, um, Gimba, the governors don't care about this because it is more like a silent arrangement between the governors and uh, members of reps and senators. You see, uh, the local governments ideally should be from the constitution it is the local government that has the authority to construct even ordinary roads, boreholes, and all those amenities within the grassroots. But you know what? Because it comes with money, now the governors don't want any other person within the locality to be powerful. Meaning, if a local government chairman has the capacity to give out contracts, obviously he may end up enriching himself. So he, uh, the governor has pulled out that strength into his own purse or its own pocket. Now, the National Assembly also, along with the gov uh, governors, are agreeing in the sense that they now say, okay, fine, National Assembly members or senators or should also come with their own way of getting their own resources to enrich themselves. So they allow the governors to do whatever they want to do within the state. The governor does not question if these uh, uh, jobs that are meant to be uh, what we call the constituency project or the intervention mm. projects are implemented or not implemented as long as he, the governor, is still sitting on his own, denying the local government their own autonomy or their own funds through what they're calling joint accounts. So, so it is a kind of silent arrangement between the, those at the National Assembly and those, I mean, the governors. So well, we thank you so much indeed, we stand Verbo Ibrahim, to actually for talking to us and sharing your views on this uh, very contentious issue of the budget padding and how the pres former president, Chief Olusha Gurubasanjo, has responded to the National Assembly. Many thanks indeed for talking to us on State of the Nation. And of course to you who has been with us from the start of the show to the end. I want to thank you so much indeed for staying tuned. I'm Yumba Omar and this is State of the Nation. We'll see you same time again when we come on the same platform. See you again.